Hello everyone, in today's episode we are going to talk about uh, Diverberate 3 by Econ Digital. Diverberate, it's a plugin that removes the reverb uh, or attenuate or actually even boost. So let's have a look. Okay, so the first example is uh, my voice recorded with a uh, native Pro Tools reverb, the Diverb. So let's listen. Okay, so here is a test of my voice. I'm talking. So there is a really big cavernous uh, cathedral sort of reverb. Um, the way the Verberate is set up, you have basically two main knobs. One is the uh, level of the attenuation of the reverb, the main reverb in general, and the sensitivity. And also you have an emphasis. The emphasis is basically you decide to either attenuate the reverb in that particular frequencies or boost the reverb in that particular frequencies so that you can go very uh, surgical and precisely, you know, attenuate just on the high frequencies or the medium frequencies or the low frequencies or boost on the frequencies that you select so that you can be really precise on your removal of the reverb. So let's play now again the, my voice. Use and, and that's, you know, without uh, applying any removal. My Octavia microphone and my Mix Pre-6. And um, I'm going to add a lot of reverb in post using um, probably... So that's a big removal, so let's play again. Or maybe the verb, the verb from Pro Tools. And uh, I will see how much I can remove with... So as simple as that, just with two knobs, I was able to remove completely the reverb. And another button that you should pay attention is the difference. Difference reactor reverb is basically telling me what is the part that I'm removing. So this difference button is showing me the reverb that I'm actually removing from the original file, the original sound. Maybe reverb from Pro Tools. And uh, up. also here you have the dry level. Let's see how much you can obviously, can. you know. Uh, remove the original signal or if you decide you that you want to put more reverb then you can actually boost the reverb signal of the sound remove with the verb rate from Acon digital and so basically the the deep learning uh, technology recognize what is the reverb from the original part of the voice and can actually add more okay so let's try the second example the second example it's still my voice recorded in my bathroom and in my bathroom, there is a lot of reverb because it's a small, it's a small bathroom with tiles uh, and, you know, there is a lot of bouncing. From my house that I use for many other examples. So um, the walls and the floor, uh, it's made of tiles, uh, marble. And so you can hear there is like a, a very tight room reverb, but it's very present. So let's try to remove it again with the uh, reverb level attenuation, which can be described as um, you know, room, room reverb and, uh, yeah, it's been completely removed like magic in the first example, because I added a Pro Tools reverb, it was a slightly more difficult, but this one is a actually natural reverb from the room, but from the sound bouncing in my bathroom and it was attenuating properly. Prominent. I have to say that there is quite, I can add more reverb if I want to sound that it bouncing back to my ear and, uh, so we're gonna see if we uh, diverberate. So let's try another example. Um, let's try with the hand clap. So this time it's going to be uh, another another type of sound. And the hand clap. Let's play on bypass. So this is a natural reverberation of my bedroom. Let's remove the bypass and now we're gonna use instead of the voice we're gonna use the other and we can see what we can do with this one so here the reverb time you can put it to automatic that's bypass and back. So I can see that there is still a little bit of reverb in this part here. So with emphasis, I can just 
completely making it dry like the desert. Um, another example, it's this uh, cathedral. There is a, a singing cathedral that I found the other day. So bypass, let's just an original. So natural reverb from the cathedral. Let's remove the bypass and see how much we can remove. So we can attenuate the reverb level. So you can start to feel a bit of the digital artifact. So I can bring back some of the of the uh, reverb wet signal, but to a dry form with the smoothing, so that it doesn't feel so robotic and glitchy. Let's bypass it. So it's been totally killed. Um, very, very effective. I have to say, like, really, um, I've been using RX8, the uh, Diverb plugin, and it's also very good, the RX8 Diverb plugin. It, it does miracles as well. Uh, but then again, I found that this one, which is a bit more modern than RX8, it just came out after, uh, it has slightly better understanding of where to tackle the reverb part. That's why, you know, it's this uh, deep learning technology that I was reading in the manual. So let's try this example. It's the airport announcement, and you can imagine it's going to be super loud. Huge, big reverb from the airport. Let's pass it and see how much we can remove. Yeah, so you can feel that there is a bit of artifact. It's kind of glitchy, robotic sound. And with the spectrals moving, you can feel that it brings back a bit of the normal sounding. But let's try with the sensitivity. And with the emphasis, let's bring back. Well, no. Yeah, I mean, let's li let's listen to the difference. This is how much is being taken off, and that's the bypass. Pretty much impressive the way it's been removed. So let's try another example: footsteps. So those are footsteps recorded in a, a gallery, in a you know under the bridge. Like with the microphone really close to the feet, to the shoes. So, okay. So this is a, a other classified as other. So it's not a, it's not a vocal. And let's see how much we can remove out of this. So let's remove the bypass. Yeah, so let's bypass it. Pretty much completely removed. Let's listen to the difference. Not bad at all. Um, another example I wanted to try is with music now. So I have here a melody that I created with the synth. Let's listen uh, the natural one. Sorry. Pass it first. So there is a huge reverb so with some delay as well.
So let's see how much we can remove. And also we can, I just forgot to say that this is the early reflection learning tool. So basically when I play this is learning the early reflection signal. And when I remove it, it just basically applied. So if I remove it, it removes the early reflection. But, you know, some, sometime it's just too much. You don't want to remove that much of early reflection. Okay, so let's listen the difference. That is how much we have removed. And let's bypass it. Pretty amazing result. But one of the things that you can do with the... Um, with the reverberate is that you can remove the completely the dry signal and just l leave the reverb one which is quite cool for making music as well uh, slightly more difficult to remove but it did remove a lot so let's try now with this um, last example it's the uh, arpeggio so let's play in bypass first and see how much we can remove. Okay, so a lot of reverbs, a lot of delays. Let's see how much we can remove um, with the others uh, plugin again. Yeah, it removes as well here a lot of the of the of the wet signal. Let's see the difference. Yeah, it so the the delay signal in this sound remains, but not the reverb. So that this plugin recognizes what's the delay and what's the reverb, and it just removes the reverb, and that is pretty much quite impressive. Uh, artificial intelligence, they're coming to control us very soon. So yeah, reverb Diverberate 3, it's a major upgrade from the previous version of Diverberate 3. Um, it's only $96 or 90 euro and uh, you know I have to say I've been using RX8 for removing reverbs and that is the only thing that I was using until now I didn't have any other plugin for removing reverb and I have to say that the Verbre 3 it's slightly more advanced in the in the way that it has this deep learning technology that understand what is the reverb and what is not and it can really tackle the frequencies and can tackle the signal of that reverb and just isolate it or remove it or even boost it out so yeah um it's it's not very expensive actually you know compared to the rx9 uh, you know bundle it's uh, significantly lower uh, unfortunately the verber tree it's not included in acoustica 7 you need to buy it separately but you know it is it is worth uh, the, the dollars so yeah thank you for everything thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one bye